our Halloween month because this is time of the year when the hello eve is near and that's going to be October 31st and I hope you are doing well my soul child because I am um, <laughs> I am learning my lesson that I've never really believed on mercury retrograde but this mercury retrograde on this specific time like this past few weeks is awfully insane it's like it's something that i've never seen before i don't even know what a mercury retrograde is but you know i channel and we are very consistent even with the planets going away from the earth or something retrograde going back whatever but i know it because i can see it i can feel it it's the uh, shifting, it's the changing, changing times. We don't even know what is, where do we go from here? But that's why we are here, so tribe. You know, I'm also a work in progress. And that's what we are going to ask Spirit Guys right now. Where do we go from here? Where do you go from here? Where are you headed when it comes to your love life, your career, your spiritual path, spirit guides is going to take us there. So, happy Halloween, my soul tribe! And look, we are on the Halloween, all Halloween vibe, aesthetic purposes only. So, pick your choices. I'll give you a moment, and we are going to call spirit guides. And I love you all, my soul tribe. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. Calling on my spirit guides, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages, possible energies, advice for pile, witch, skull, ghost, and Dracula spirit guides. <laughs> These are our choices right now because we are trying to jump on the Halloween spirit. <laughs> mau, 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 mau. Where do we go from here, spirit guides? What is waiting for us? As we are trying to embark this journey, where do we go from here? Especially those who are confused and in their most darkest hour right now, like do not know what to do. Advice, please, so we can help them see the glimmer of light and have some illumination. Where do they go from here if they were feeling stuck? Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you. Let's go, pile witch. You know, let's go rock and roll. I can only try. I've been... I woke up not too long ago, like 30 minutes ago, because... Okay, so this is what I really feel called to use today. We don't use this a lot, but... This is the Tarot de la Noe. Okay, this is what I feel called today. So, Pile Witch, for those who pick Pile Witch, where do you go from here? What is coming towards you? Who is coming towards you? Or... um. Where do you go from here? Okay, love, career, spiritual journey. What is happening? Thank you, spirit guys. Let's understand. Thank you. Channeled message, please, for pile which dude, where does pile one go from here? Thank you. Let's go. Queen of Swords, continue on working on yourself. Continue on what you're doing right now because you're clearing what you don't need anymore so you are um you're learning your lessons that it's good to be independent independent you are vulnerable but you're also fiery you are strong okay queen of swords you are possibly someone right now is very much a single and you're very much smart okay but in a way even if you're working on yourself, you also went through a lot of struggles. It took you, it, took, it, it takes you a lot of digging deep, okay, to learn from your mistakes, to learn from your life lessons, how to get over and rise above all the struggles you're going through right now. So Queen of Swords, if you are someone who is 
contemplating on like where do you go from here when it comes to career spirit guys says you need to um you are a good communicator you have a way with words you're also very smart possibly you um you are also going to be successful on the field where you need to um use your intuition so anyway but spirit guys trying to say but sometimes you're feeling mentally and emotionally tired because remember you went through a lot and you need to recharge because right now you're feeling drained like right now how do you fight the battle because constantly if you're waking up every day it feels like it's a battlefield you know i know that you are um wishing for relief so spirit guy says you need to recover pile one you need to recover your health when i say health physically mentally emotionally in all aspects of your life right now so take care of you okay ace of pentacles okay so windfall of blessings are coming your way ace of pentacles it could be a life partner it could be a next love it could be a, a next relationship who is stable and very supportive of you ace of pentacles could also mean raise or promotion or ace of pentacles what is waiting for you it could also be a new job okay someone something that pays well so if you are totally confused right now like yeah is this really on your horizon well this is just a confirmation from spirit guides from the universe uh, that do not give up on hope when it comes to finding yourself and finding your blessings because definitely spirit guides says your money situation and your energy was feeling you're feeling drained and emotionally and mentally tired right now it will get better ten of cups yes ten of cups because you're going to work on fulfilling your dreams because you want to have a happy and beautiful relationship with someone because possibility you're so sick and tired of being single forever but at the same time you're not just going to be manifesting like things situation and places in your life that um you know are toxic you are ready to be with someone who is going to make you happy as well. And you are also going to do the same to this person. Anyway, this not only in relationship, but in, in your life in general. Ten of Cups is your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Your goals, your heart's desire. If it's about money and it's all about your uh, spiritual journey, you're on the right track okay you are on the right path or you will be led um to the right direction but i think you are okay it just took you a, uh, you know it it took you a very steep road a very hard life lessons it took you a while to um walk through these struggles but there is the light okay shining in the horizon for you pile which ace of wands new beginning and fresh start see spirit guy says you're going to take care of you comb your hair okay because you are beautiful you are the key to manifest your dreams you know you have to be enthusiastic enthusiastic put back and bring back the enthusiasm and positive energy in your life because possibly for the past few years you've been going through uncertainty and fear so right now spirit guy says it's time for you to get back into the land of the living and you are a warrior and ace of wands is also a message of taking action towards your dreams you're going to see there's a keyhole here so who is the key maybe you are searching for the key but you're not going to seek validation okay not true relationship not true a job not true money but you're going to work on yourself you are already whole you you should know that okay because if you're always going to be constantly feeling like yeah if only you have this if only you have that you know humanity are not really satisfied and contented whatever you know but we always want what we don't have but right now spirit guide says you have to learn to appreciate what you have your blessings okay and that's going to be your key 
your first step to heal yourself, your first step to manifest your goals, your dreams, your desires, your true love, your healing in your life. Three of Cups and you will be happy too. There is the Mad Hatter. <laughs> so you right now you're feeling like the past few years or the whole your whole life you fell into the rabbit hole it feels like you were alice in the wonderland trying to find your way but just like alice in the wonderland she tried to enjoy the ride she tried to enjoy the journey she found beautiful friends wonderful friends in the wonderland and so are you you're going to to um Pray that the universe is going to bring the right soul tribe, the right community, spiritual or religious community to help you grow, to help surround you with positivity, to help you um, to be a better person, okay, for your life purpose, for, for uh, simply be to help you grow into your highest potential. Okay, so you will be happy too, or you will be invited in social events but i know spirit guides trying to say it's time to get back in the land of the living there's a lot of aces in your pile there's ace of pentacles and ace of wands that's a very um powerful energy of new beginnings and fresh start and manifesting blessings in your life so anyway three of swords but there's also three 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 you're feeling heartbroken. You lost something. It could be a relationship, toxic relationship, or it could be someone has hurt you. Someone has broken your heart. You, you lost loved ones. You lost a job. You lost, oh my God, whatever. But the spirit guy says, you know what? You have to move forward. You cannot be like, you know, feeling like this is over for you. I know you're tired. I know your heart is aching right now. Maybe you are feeling like the pain in the whole world right now. But you be, be careful. Okay, spirit guys from the side. You know, maybe part of your life purpose is to heal, to heal the people, heal the earth, heal the planet, heal yourself, heal others. But the thing is, you have to heal yourself first. And... You know, you weren't really exempted in feeling the psychic attacks and dark dark attacks because you were also afraid and scared for yourself, for your safety, for your health. But right now, but it feels like you also, someone has left you, someone has hurt you, you lost some things. Okay, so whichever the deal, let's understand where do you go from here? Nine of cups, you have nine of cups, ten of cups. You know what, what you have lost? I know something's... Some things are just temporary anyway. But the universe wants you to move forward because the Nine of Cups is also like, maybe some things has to go away in your life. If these are toxic relationship, if, if it wasn't meant to be before, that's okay. Because whatever, with whichever the deal is, universe is going to like bring you a step closer towards your wishes because nine of cups also means wishes coming true your dreams can also come true not all hope is lost for you okay i know that you went through a lot pile three you experienced loss fear uncertainty doubting confusion but you cannot give up on yourself that's why your first energy is queen of swords but until then you know you're still here you still have a lot of mission and you must continue in your journey okay that's how i can understand right now and when it comes to love life you have to keep calling your twin flame your soulmate your future spouse i feel like there's a deepest soul connection too because it's a nine of cups ten of cups you want to be with someone like like you know like a peaceful relationship no chaos no heartache no drama i do understand that there will be a, a new relationship coming in your life if you were someone who is um feeling heartbroken or maybe you are calling back your twin flame but first you must heal yourself and let go of the heartache forgive yourself okay or forgive others who assert you because that's going to be your key for your new beginning okay new embraced 
the three worlds dawning of the green man if a divine masculine or your twin flame has hurt you or you're feeling confused do they recognize you will they look for you will they ever find you i think so because dawning of the green man is a masculine energy okay he's awakening is is walking through his journey right now maybe it's not as fast as you expected them to be you know this could be a twin flame or this could be uh, your next love your next relationship your life partner okay but he's going to get through the portal or maybe he already went through the portal and that's why he's already here you know the the this things in here is kind of like the stuff that also means transformation that also means awakening okay after all dawning also means awakening so there is a divine masculine awakening or a male energy in your life if that's a life partner awakening or maybe this is you you're very much trying to um clear what you don't need anymore okay be courageous truth conquers all truth conquers all oh my god it's kind of like the king of swords knight of swords energy you have to stay closer to the truth or this is someone you're connecting to especially a masculine they know the truth they're very much away they've been seeing signs symbols synchronicities and possibly they're also feeling you or they are currently trying to find you right now so there is also speed okay because you know what if it's nice of swords it's like very soon energy so maybe this is a message from your potential life partner uh, that i am coming and i will be with you very soon or if we have been apart i'm going to communicate with you i'm going to find a way how to win you back see i tell you and tell you how much i love you i'm going to fight for you my love vigil by the holy torn three three Keep the vigil. Justice will triumph. So Spirit Guide says love conquers all. The truth conquers all. So definitely see there is this Ace of Cups levitating. So there is a spiritual, very, very strong spiritual connection for you and this special person. But mostly it's all about truth. This is a person maybe who hasn't fought for you before. But now they know. They're, they know the truth now. They can see you. Or if this is someone who still has yet to come in your life, well, I know it. There is speed. Okay, so I can only tell you what I can understand. File 1. Or if this is all about you trying to find clarity and understanding. Truth conquers all. Remember, if you are trying to seek answers right now, Spirit Guide says you will find your clarity. I think the answer is already in your heart. Not only I think, but I I am hearing it. The answer is already in your heart. It's like you got to learn to follow your gut instincts and your intuition. If you think like, yeah, something is not working out for you. And then so it is. You know that's the truth. But maybe, maybe you were fearful. So that's why there's also a message for you. You got to let go of fear. Okay, so you can step forward in your life. Okay, so you won't get stuck. And high priest. High priest, this could be the, um, the higher fund energy. Have faith. Manifest your desires. Intend and create. And do not let anything stop you from your dreams okay because intent and create is like be assertive you can do it nothing is impossible high priest well, you know this is like the Ramesses. but anyway it, be a leader take action i think this is it right now it's like it's not like i am feeling like a slow energy in your pile pile um one i'm feeling like assertive energy so that's good news for you druid hold the space but you need healing that's what the druid is for okay silence they're very some of them embrace the vow of silence they're kind of like the monks right now i'm up on the mountains but the druids are very magical they don't have to speak a lot because they're very sacred they're mystical and full of wisdom so anyway 
they're kind of like the shamans as well but i do know you need shamanic healing okay so maybe you need to connect with nature and ask god up above god up above okay holy spirit jesus christ to help you oh my god winter well we're coming in the winter take care of your knees what did i tell you it's all about your healing i think this is what you need to hear right now you know in your journey to find yourself where do you go from here when it comes to love and career it's all about you making the right decision for yourself letting go of what you don't need anymore even if you um lost something or even if someone has broken your heart you gotta forgive and take care of your needs and move forward okay you got, you have to move forward that's all and water guardian spirit guide says and believe in love regardless because you're very caring and you're very emotional right now but you could be an earth angel you could be a star seed but you have that light inside you and that love inside you is also going to be your key to find yourself to find what you are looking for connect with your emotions because remember i already told you uh, that you need to listen to your heart you need to listen to your gut instinct remember sometimes we doubt our intuition but so child this is how i am your supernatural channeler without the gift the spiritual gift without the intuition without spirit guys i don't know how am i going to channel your energy <laughs> but anyway if you don't know me i'm someone who can already see tarot or oracle in advance actually i don't need tarot and oracle already to tell you your energy but that could be draining okay but like i tell you i am seeing something and that's why i am here i'm trying to share what i can see because so try we can only try so anyway let's um let's get more energy we are still stuck on pile one and we are already on the 21 life lessons see you can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain i know it spirit guy says you cannot be thinking like what you don't have in your journey to to find what you're looking for in the journey to find yourself spirit guide says you have to be appreciative of what you have and you gotta also learn to win the favor of the higher power which i can also see in here but mostly okay i think you are currently in the journey right now because you're doing shadow work you're healing your inner child and you're trying to find answers and you're trying to find yourselves but spirit guide says it is part of your journey it is just life lessons and you can overcome this okay so do not be fearful so anyway that's a beautiful um message for you so right now maybe we will just uh sorry so chai because kitty cat can be um confused because i've lined up some few things but i don't think i can i can um use a lot more because we're already okay let's see sorry about that just one spirit guys thank you help what did i tell you bam there you go it's all about your healing but when we say healing time to recharge your energy is maybe this not just about physical health it could also be take care of your needs take care of your mental health emotional health spiritual health you have to pray you have to meditate you have to um align yourself mind body and spirit to the divine and when we say that you need to purify your surroundings clear away negative thoughts move away from toxic people places and situation that doesn't make you grow anymore remember this is what we are seeing right now we're not going to make this complicated after all we are always always um learning after all so chime i'm still very much exhausted and i wanted to sleep a little bit late today but uh, anyway i woke up because i had to do something but i am functioning on one coffee and one pastry and i wanted to do this reading for those who need to hear this message and also have fun on our halloween vibe so thank you let's see um pile 
skull. I need to drink some water. Sorry, so chan. Let's go, pile skull. Where do you go from here? What can we see? <gasps> My power energy wise. Where does pile skull go from here? Love career, healing, spiritual path. Where where do they go from here? Seven of Cups, you're feeling lost and afraid and you're doubting. Where do you go from here? You are like, if you made bad decision, bad mistake, and then maybe Spirit Guides trying to say, do not fall on the same trap because right now you want to be better. You don't want to be like, drop and feeling lost and then and then creating more blockages right now if you are manifesting your twin flame your soulmate your future spouse your blessing your new job so right now i could feel that you're feeling helpless confused lost and afraid so anyway but seven of cups also means you have to make the right decisions in life long term okay like someone has to let go of immaturity life is full of not only, you know, life is not all butterflies and sunshines and rainbows. You also have to walk through the pain. This is all about the spiritual journey. The spiritual journey, the catalyst is pain. So try, and how am I here? I've, I've walked through a lot of pain, but you got to be like, like a phoenix. You have to like spread your wings and grow out from the ashes okay much more stronger than you were yesterday so night of wands okay and bring back new adventures in your life maybe spirit guide says you were feeling um confused maybe you gotta lighten up the load be light-hearted you gotta learn to have fun in life okay because Right now, Spirit Guide says maybe you are feeling like anxious and overthinking and a worry word and over worrying and you cannot sleep. So take time, okay, to enjoy life. Take time to taste delicious food. Take time to enjoy the books that you read. Enjoy the beautiful music. And do not be, if horror movies are not for you, then do not watch it. Okay, Spirit Guide says maybe you have to watch like all these movies or 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 some things that make your self relax. Okay, because you know, so try to tell you honestly, I'm not someone who can even go to haunted houses and watch horror movies because it's very disturbing to me. So you know, you know what you like. It's all about choices for you. After all, this is you. Okay, you gotta make good choices good choices in relationship job or you're trying to find solutions right now in your current problems make the right choice okay eight of cups see spirit guide says maybe you gotta let go of some things anymore but what is holding you back the fear because if you're going to hold something back uh, if you're going you're afraid of letting go of something because you do, you wanted assurance that yeah you will be okay but sometimes universe trying to say you don't have to know everything right now universe is just trying to give you the glimmer of light that is shining the light on you that you gotta let go of toxic people places situation toxic job if if you know in your heart that it's time to let go then sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith because you gotta learn to trust your intuition and so try that's what i did too when i moved to new york i have 200 dollars in my pocket <laughs> and i said i'm going to move to new york pack all my boxes for like a few months <laughs> it's already there and i don't even know how am i going to get here but i did so try so spirit guys is trying to tell you make long-term plans okay even if you do not know right now like let's say you're looking for a job or if you if your heart is calling you to to oh my god to travel if your heart is calling you to relocate or something like that or um your heart is trying to tell you that your future spouse your life partner is out there or is here then there is a degree of truth on that the devil yeah because you know what to tell you honestly you know in your heart that your future spouse your your um 
blessings are out there but what is holding you back these are the fears i tell you i can feel it okay these are the the dark forces the bad juju the demons trying to block you from your happiness so right now you're going through a very hard time full of struggles and um you are afraid that how are you, how are you going to make beautiful choices in your life if you feel like you always you you always like um experience these setbacks okay hardship struggle and wow maybe the, this mercury retrograde is very hard on you pile skull but let's see 888 eight of swords i tell you you're going to a very hard time right now but we cannot be like just going to blame it on mercury retrograde tell you what it could be okay maybe something the pull of the planet is the same as the pull of the full moon to some can make you like a little bit out of place out of emotions or whatever that oh my gosh the spirit guy says do not feel so powerless and helpless you don't want to be calling more devil energy demons okay dark forces you're full of negative thinking right now so universe trying to say instead you have to you have to transmute these darker eights because right now you have darker eights you have darker sevens and you have you're going through psychic attacks so if you're feeling powerless right now universe wanting wanting you to at least feel a little better so maybe be careful of what you surrounded with you surround yourself with who and what and oh my gosh see spirit guy says if you're trying to manifest wonderful things in your life you gotta learn the law of attraction the law of positivity maybe it's time for you to read about people who made it to the top people who had nothing okay and then that's going to inspire you to be better okay so anyway that's how i can understand right now please do not be wallowing on negative thinking see and you are feeling lost and confused and afraid you don't want to be in a dark place and it doesn't have to be that way pile two spirit guy says you're going to get over this okay pain is a part of life but you will recognize the life lessons the hardship the struggles in the journey but sometimes it's you know going through the pain and darkness and you hit rock bottom sometimes it's good too because now you know how it feels over there to have nothing to be powerless and hopeless and then you're going to transmute all this energy get out of the darkness and then make a better life for yourself okay like you're going to have a life makeover okay i'm not going to say like do not like spirit guy says this is not going to be drastic okay you're going to embrace the changes in your life gradually okay so it's it's the same as your spiritual journey this is a going to be a gradual change so if you are also someone who is feeling lost okay because you're waiting for this beautiful connection what is happening now okay they were hanging in there nothing was happening in your love life but i think for the past few years there was pause <laughs> you were in quarantine feels like your whole life was in quarantine right now and nothing was happening but until then i already told you it's because you know what some something the dark forces doesn't want you to make to be happy they were blocking all the blessings and and happiness coming your way so what do you need to do if something or something we cannot explain right now is very wicked and trying to make you sad and hopeless and lost and afraid and confused then you gotta go back to god that's all i mean so tribe in my collective i pray for each one of you okay i said intuition no intuition i may not know everything and even when i'm trying to channel your messages right now i already know what you're going through you know so anyway but you gotta learn to pray sincerely you know we're not based on religion but i am a hybrid so all i can tell you 
No matter what your religion is, you gotta learn to pray. We only have one God, and that's all that matters right now. You need God's help to help you find your way to help this take away all this bad juju or call Jesus Christ to exorcise all these demons, okay? That is like feasting on your energy right now. That's why you're feeling drained and confused and alone and powerless. Seven of Pentacles. You gotta learn to believe in yourself. You were a black swan before, but you're going to transmute yourself into the white swan, okay? Do not be... There's only two paths for you. Either you're going to walk on the light or you're going to walk in the darkness. So right now, Spirit Guide says you have to transmute all this negative thinking, negative thoughts, and all these negative experiences into life lessons, into strength. Okay, so anyway, you're not always going to be the black swan or going to be someone who's always going to be afraid in the dark okay knight of swords okay so spirit guy says you know your truth move away from the drama but knight of swords is also speed this could be a potential love interest a relationship or a future spouse okay they know their truth this is a person who is going to communicate with you or maybe there could be good news coming your way within this week or the next few weeks but until then you definitely need to pray okay this is your this is how you're going to fight all these psychic attacks this bad juju that's making you feeling like out of it right now after all, if you think this is Mercury retrograde, it will be, it will end up October 17th, but you cannot rely your happiness on the planets or something, whatever, you know, but you can only ask God up above that no matter what happens in the world, you will be protected, blessed, and guided, and you stay strong, okay? Because remember, even the strongest warriors sometimes can be winded and be feeling tired. But you will be a warrior all the same. And you never give up. Okay? You never give up the fight. Oh my gosh. Arise from the ashes of despair. Because I already know this. You went through and hit rock, hit rock bottom. But like I already told you. What did I tell you? It's the phoenix. I've been already trying to tell you since a while ago. See? Because I can see oracle. I can see tarot. Glastonbury phoenix. Because you're going to arise above the ashes of despair. Just like the phoenix. What did I tell you? I was already trying to channel that since a while ago. And you are love. Okay, or someone's going to love you. But if you're always going to be a negative thinker, and that's how you're going to manifest in your life. So Spirit Guide says you have the power to transmute all this these struggles and hardship that you went through, and you gonna you're going to prove all this bad juju and dark forces wrong that you are a warrior, okay, that they cannot get you down. Do not give up so easily okay you are a fighter you are a warrior pile two and i know that purify your surroundings see you need healing as well and what did i tell you the magic word transmute transmutation and the return of the tuwata the danan purify your surroundings purify what you don't need anymore clear negative thinking i think it's much more of negative thinking because the dark forces and the demons are feeding on your depression, your stress, your negative thinking. So make sure you cleanse yourself, okay? Because that's how I could feel, I could understand right now, purification. It means cleansing your energies, cleansing your aura. And Tuwata the Danan is saying you have to, to um, work with your spiritual gifts or you have to work with the divine because Tuwata the Danan is... That means the gift from the gods. Okay. So anyway, the gift from the gods. Because you're going to arise from these struggles. I tell you. And if this is your potential life partner. Going through dark night of the soul. Or if you are currently in a crisis or in separation. They will find their way back to you. But you have to also help yourself and light the way. 
so this beautiful person this beautiful blessings are going to find your way so how are blessings going to come in your life you also have to clear clear yourself okay like if you are holding your ace of cups if that ace of cups is you then that means you have to to empty that dirty water so you can manifest and ask god to fill your cup with pure water okay with wonderful blessings so i hope that makes sense for you because it's no sense carrying a cup full of dirty water and that means if dirty water means toxic thoughts negative thoughts yeah with your own destiny because you have the power to change your life it's not always going to be sadness maybe you went to rock bottom but there's no way to go but up okay spirit guys wanting to tell you your situation will improve okay we're not going to be uh, poor mercury we're not going to be blaming poor mercury which is here right now but you're going to work with the divine and the universe okay so so child there's a lot more things we don't understand right now but for now this is what i can see in your energy but stay strong okay so you want to minor setbacks right now but warrior okay knight oh someone is coming in your life or someone knows the truth about you that you were the one and and someone is already trying to say i know you're the one and i love you because look there's a rose here so that means love is coming your way be brave and honest but regardless okay someone need to be brave and honest to you and bring you love the truth and the wedding ring okay so and someone is possibly thinking about you as well so snake yeah i know it's the bad juju again so you encountered a lot of snakes and challenges your way forget this bad juju and snake you know that's how guardian angel michael and mama mary they crush this snakes and bad juju you know it's temptation it's pride and ego forget them okay it's kind of like going back into adam and eve the snake tempted eve okay and to eat the apple and then bam, it's the first original sin but forget this bad juju but you know what to tell you honestly that's why god up above sent jesus christ okay to save the people to save his creation but like i said so child the world is full of good and evil and right now if uh, the evil forces dark forces are trying to like mislead you they're trying to recruit you okay the order simply be they're trying to drain your resources drain your blessings drain your energy they're trying to use you okay and then when the dark forces are done and they think they cannot get anything from you they'll leave you there because that's how they are that's how the dark forces are and you don't want to be that kind of uh like oh my god you don't want to be that kind of person that that the bad juju will just be like fisting on okay you are going to be a warrior which i already keep trying to tell you okay you have you're going to call on the light to help you okay get out of this very dark place darkest hour in your life right now okay i can only try see i tell you call god up above call god up above that's it you know in your most darkest time in your most darkest hour when you are feeling hopeless and afraid when nothing right is going your way when you think like you made the right decision and then it wasn't it anyway it's not it's not too late it's not too late to change your life okay it's not too late no matter how much like so much mistakes you went through in the past it's not too late okay to better yourself better your life but you have to call god up above because you know the eagle also means freedom you have to be a leader so no one else is going to fight for you but you 
okay you're not going to be manifesting and waiting for hero or miracles but you it has to be you okay and if like universe and god up above and warrior angels are going to see that you're really trying and they will help you it's the same way as they're helping me right now so chai so i can get your energy oracle no oracle tarot no tarot okay stag see trust and tribe and you will thrive even in the most hardest and difficult situation you're going to be just like the lotus okay you're going to be resourceful you're going to find a way and you're going to learn to trust god trust your intuition and trust the process okay so maybe universe and god up above is also trying to tell you pile two that they're trying to send you signs anyway so what is your first underlying energy yeah they were giving you the signs from the get-go but you were just confused okay because something is holding you back it's the bad juju okay trying to make your way blurry right now but trust that god is here to listen to you okay father sky spiritual path your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes, which I already told you, I tell you. This is all about you changing your life. But pain is a catalyst for your spiritual transformation or spiritual awakening. And continue on the journey. This is how you're going to evolve spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, okay, with the help of the divine and the universe. So keep walking towards the light, okay, and make smarter choices in your life, even if you made bad choices before, but we all do, so try. But God it doesn't judge, okay? You gotta learn to fight for yourself, okay? So anyway, what else can I say? Am I consistent in your pile? Yes, I am. Okay, because there's truth in what I am seeing, even if I do not know everything. So try, see? Keep your vibration high. You gotta follow your passion or bring back enthusiasm back in your life. Bring back the fire inside you and rise above from this hell and struggles that you went through if you weren't feeling well you'll feel better okay or this could be you know universe trying to tell you there will be a brand new beginning for you okay you're going to like get rid of all negative toxic thoughts and see i tell you clear away there will be freedom from all these blocks if you were feeling hopeless when it comes to marriage and true love but marriage could also be blessings but regardless what is coming towards you where do you go from here spirit guy says wedding bells <laughs> marriage is waiting for you and do i believe it yes okay but the key is high vibration the key is you going to walk away from the darkness because this is what your message right now find the light and you will find your blessings and you will find yourself thank you very much pile skull and you will be a beautiful person okay not going to be feeling like always dark and gloomy and your life is always like a black and white and automaton every day okay so anyway see i tell you we can see it but anyway we try i wanted to just do three piles today but i said ah, maybe we should push it pile we should do four piles today but anyway energy wise whew, let's go thank you Anyway, let's go pile ghost. Whoever picked pile ghost, what is coming towards you? What do you need to hear today? That's been a constantly. But where do you go from here? Love, life, health, career. Where do you go from here? Pile ghost. What do you need to hear today? Ten of pentacles. <laughs> You're wishing that someone is going to see you and and offer you love stability commitment 
you want to have a happy family with this person but what is your drama right now okay so you want to be with a person who's going to be a good provider so the ten of pentacles is something about love and money and stability okay and family so or you want to be recognized as the one so seven of wands okay so you're fighting to find the best relationship for you you are fighting for someone to love you okay to see you it is so hard and i want to cry for you pile three because this very guy says it wasn't easy okay fighting for something you really know in your heart that is meant for you so anyway i know it well maybe the message for you is fight for what you believe in stand your ground okay four of swords it wasn't easy for you but you gotta learn to trust that there is divine timing you gotta learn that maybe some things weren't ready before but if you know in your heart that that's what you want then go for it okay so go with the flow recharge your energy Maybe right now you were trying to fight the battle so hard. Like right now, you know, you don't know what to do. Someone has hurt you. But maybe this could also be a message that someone wants to say, I'm sorry, I have hurt you. I am sorry. But anyway, if you are feeling like down in the dumps right now, Spirit Guide says, recharge your energy. Because four of swords, there were imbalance. There were healing that needs to be done okay but we recognize it okay so anyway maybe there is also a feminine here maybe that's you pile tree you're feeling like your heart is a ghost town da, 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 da. oh my god something oh my gosh a spirit guy is trying to tell you even if your heart is a ghost town do things that you love chariot is also unstoppable energy chariot is also travel maybe someone is traveling towards you maybe you're going to travel for work chariot is also a very luxurious opulent energy so this could also mean surround yourself with beautiful things or beautiful things will find you but anyway chariot could also mean if this is a potential future spouse or next love or next relationship or love interest a person is well traveled from a faraway land possibly mixed race or possibility someone who is luxurious someone who enjoys beautiful things okay so remember and also very intuitive or this is like a blessing from the universe that maybe some things did not happen your way before but this could be beautiful things beautiful surprises because what now look at this page of cups page of cups there will be wonderful friends wonderful community this could also mean a possible new love wow if you do not know who your potential love interest yet maybe this is a message of a new love or maybe if you already know this person they're going to profess their feelings to you they do not want to lose you this person wants to give you uh, that assurance a little bit of assurance that i do not want to let you go we're not going to let all these mistakes going to tear us apart why when i'm saying that because i know it this all turned together it's the lovers it means commitment stability assurance of feelings for you that i'm not going anywhere my love i know there was there was quite a journey but i am committed to you my heart belongs to you and you belong with me and this could also mean twin flame union why i know it because page of cups could also mean fated meeting you know this is like is this a mermaid yes you were feeling lost and afraid and you know if you were feeling sad because you're feeling all alone and if you were feeling like little mermaid like do you have to go back in the ocean or will you like enjoy the best of both worlds will you ever have feet and and enjoy and see wonderful experiences anyway spirit guys are to, trying to tell you okay you might not know everything but do not feel like so hopeless and do not feel like some things did not happen your way like you know you were feeling like 
loss to kind of like oh my god how is the word for that hopelessness and and um anyways spirit guide says there is there is someone who's going to love you okay that's all i can tell you right now from the very get-go i know there is stability commitment someone feels the same way for you that's all i can tell you right now Pam. so it's much more of energy of a lover a future spouse a life partner i know i know there were blocks okay but but what's what's the deal here spirit guys but i feel like universe is going to um help you to be together that's all i can tell you no matter what there's commitment here so thank you i try so try you know what to tell you honestly as your channeler this is how i do it okay so sometimes you just have to deal with me so chime embody ancient wisdom i tell you merlin awaits it's the magic it's the magic of the universe the path is open you are both ready you are both enlightened there will be elimination on the path you will find your way or someone is going to find their way to you or you will find that stability and commitment and blessing that you're looking for okay believe that magic is very much alive. Believe that nothing is impossible if you can just try. Okay? So this could be a male energy in your life as well. Trying to say, I'm here going to be your supporter, your protector, your mentor, your um, provider. Um, someone is going to help you. Maybe this is a person who's going to help you on the on this specific time in your life to help you get back on your feet okay so anyway miss maybe this could also be a little job maybe not that kind of job you want right now but the kind of job that could pay your bills or the kind of job that going to help you realize that this is not the job for you that definitely you want to open new doors for yourself so this is like a life awakening lesson for you i do not know what to say let peace prevail love conquers that love conquers the darkness that's how it is love conquers all see i tell you spirit guide says if you're feeling hopeless and afraid right now love conquers all it's the same as like nothing is impossible but who is going to be your power to manifest magic and 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 um the light in your life well you have gotta start praying that's all i can tell you <laughs> if i was you know i know i'm your supernatural channeler but i'm also i work on my faith because my faith led me in this channel so try so i can use my gifts to be here with you technically oh my god but i we are a hybrid but like i said we are we're seeing it tarot oracle but anyway let peace prevail you need peace and inner harmony find your inner zen how do you heal the imbalance inside you which i already know you gotta learn to calm down that beast that anxiety that confusion and transmute that into peace because what is your key to manifest your dreams your desire your blessings peace and harmony and cleanliness starts has to start within yourself first okay so that means you gotta learn to love yourself first you gotta learn to cleanse in what is inside first oh my god what is this spirit guys look through the mist find the mystery so this could also mean nothing is what it seems do not compare yourself to others universe wants you to evolve not to get stuck and not to be like fall down the oblivion like of nothingness okay and powerlessness and hopelessness you have to evolve so you will find your way okay look you're not going to be alone there's mr and mrs goose in here or mr and mr duck but i love them because they made for life this also means commitment okay this could also mean twin flame union but you have to both evolve in the journey and eventually you'll find each other eternal union eternal love Bam! whatever the deal is Bam! spirit guides 
how do we know this? I do not know, but this is how I'm seeing it. So remember, commitment and stability and ma possibly marriage. Oh my God. Or stability when it comes to money. Purification and detoxification. See, clear away negative thinking. Release what you don't need. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Well, this is your best message right now after all this is always the message on the spiritual journey self-love journey how to find yourself purification detoxification clearing negative thoughts clearing the blockages cleansing your energy so you can finally manifest your twin flame union your true love your blessings or your dream job okay Oh my God, I really do know. I feel it. You want it all right now. Love and money and health and happiness. Will you have it all? There is possibility. I already told you that. Okay, maybe right now you're just confused and is it really possible? I tell you, yes, it's possible. Wow, I do not know why I'm saying that, but why? Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Work with spirit animals or trust your instincts. Pay attention to your dreams or trust your intuition. You're very intuitive, pile tree. But sometimes you're doubting your intuition. So that's the deal right here. That's why you got to learn to connect with the divine and the universe. Because possibly what's holding you back is the problems, is the... You were always been ready anyway. And then you're thinking what to do, what to do. You always know what to do. But anyway, the 3D world just make it harder because, you know, the 3D world functions on fame, money, fortune. But I tell you, Pile Tree, even people who has a lot of money, they know now that the lesson, money cannot buy love and happiness. Okay? So anyway... Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So this is it for you. Trust your intuition, honor your inner knowing. You got a sense. So you're going to get that clarity and understanding. And you're going to help um, yourself find a way out right now. If you were feeling stuck, this is your only way to go right now. Um, pile, pile three. You got to learn, okay? Two. To be your own hero okay at least to to manifest your intuition to trust your intuition so you can oh my gosh find your way out in here oh my god i do not know what to tell you pile three but there is a way out if you're feeling stuck and afraid and alone right now mother earth there's medicine mother and mother earth you are feel you are love and you are going to be comforted by the universe. The universe and the divine is supporting you. But it's mostly it's mother universe. Okay. It's like Mama Mary, mother universe, mother nature trying to tell you. If you don't feel well, child, you have to connect with the nature. Okay. And you have to open your heart. Okay. You cannot be like thinking like, yeah, this is so hard right now and you're always thinking like yeah why nothing so great is happening in your life take one day at a time okay and heal yourself one day one day at a time and and um believe in love regardless okay so so child i know it's so easy it's so easy to say believe in love but sometimes when you're in stock it, like you don't know where to go from here draw love life you've been waiting and manifesting for love life and you've been watching tarot forever and ever and why nothing is happening but i tell you so child if i am going to tell you that your life is you need healing and spirit guide says you gotta learn to trust in intuition what is the block right now why happiness feels like so far away from you or your dream is so far away from you it's because okay you need to detox 
okay detox the negative thinking detox negative energies that is latching on you because negative energies equals dark forces and demons but you know what to tell you you gotta learn from the darkness too okay and pain that you don't want to experience that again or if anything again in life because life are full of problems and struggles and and pain anyway but you're going to be much more of a warrior and stronger later on and you know going to have you're going to find a shortcut of a way how to get out of the solution okay you're going to find easy strategy that yeah no you already know that lesson you're not going to like be dating the same old same old toxic relationship or you're not going to walk down that that route if you already know that 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 the big bad wolf is there you're not going to do that to yourself okay so that's how i can understand for you and let's see pile yeah there were red flags along the way and universe already tell you they've been you know they've been trying to tell you you need healing and i don't know this i kind of feel like scattered energy for you pile three but for some reason you have to be committed in your journey and that's how you're going to find your way towards your blessing towards your stability towards like that special person that special blessing who's going to give you commitment and love and happiness okay see i tell you you have to evolve this is the transformation you're not always going to be on this dark place perhaps the butterfly is proof that you're going to that you that someone can go through a great deal of darkness but yet become someone so beautiful so so tribe is the same way as i was already trying to tell you okay transformation also means healing cleansing detoxification purification everything that we already saw is very consistent in your energy okay so maybe you're not satisfied with your love life right now because someone is toxic someone has hurt you someone is like you know something is not going right your way but you continue but you continue it's the same way like when i'm trying to channel your message we continue to learn every day so try you know um that's all we can do right now okay see page of cups soulmate knight of cups someone loves you that's all i can tell you this could be if you're someone who's yet to meet this person it's a possibility you're going to meet a new person a new love in your life or if you're already connecting with someone do they feel the same way about you i already know okay someone's going to profess their feelings to you but you gotta give this person a chance to grow and yourself to grow and heal the imbalance inside you you gotta learn to uh, walk towards the light and walk towards happiness and also learn from the dark that you don't want to go back there and if anything later on uh, that you're going to experience pain in your life you're going like i said already a while ago you're going to learn the shortcut or the life lesson that you don't want to go back on the same old same old route again okay you're going to detour from this dark path okay thank you very much but if this is all about a love life spirit guide says someone is waiting to love you okay i know we've been saying that but do i believe it yes you know the spirit world and the earthly plane the time frame could not be the same you know in the space or universe or galactic it's all they say about like light years i don't even know that so try but anyway all i can tell you right now the universe the spirit world is reaching out for us i have the gift of the spirits and you know what i'm giving your readings for free and I, all i can tell you i'm sharing my gifts my energy my time maybe not as usual as before like everyday reading because i'm multitasker so try i'm not tied on my table and i'm not tied on uh, this tarot and oracle because you know what i'm also need to work okay and pay my bills but all i can tell you 
be careful who you listen to that's all so child maybe some of you m will not like when i say that but no one is as honest as kitty cat right now so let's go pile um pile dracula <laughs> whoever picked pile dracula after all we are on the halloween spirit <laughs> what is coming towards you where do you go from here pile dracula Eight of Cups. You have to let go and release toxic thoughts, negative energies. Keep keep moving forward in your journey. Maybe you're feeling stuck right now, but this is your spiritual evolution. You're also very much intuitive. You know deep down in your heart that it's time to let go and move on from your life. You were someone who's afraid okay you were stuck on a dead end job or maybe some things you do not like in your life right now or maybe like you were single for so long so spirit guy says it's time to continue on the path okay it's time to make a step forward and release and put a closure on what you don't need anymore okay if you you were separated from someone if it's meant to be it will be that's all the sun is going to shine in your life so you know universe wants you to know uh, that maybe you went through a little bit of darkness but then the, the dawn the dawn means hope okay the sun means yes to happiness yes to wedding bells yes to marriage and um you're going to follow the lie, okay? Or the universe trying to say, it's time for new beginnings and fresh start for you. You're not meant to be stuck. You're not meant to be like not listening when the universe is trying to guide your way, to guide your path. The sun is beautiful energy that you will be happy too, that you will find answers, you will find and manifest your dreams into reality that's all i can tell you right now the moon you have the uh, you have the sun the moon and the stars you could be a light worker or you could be a star seed but only in the darkness can you see the stars and the moon but you're not going to be lost because you have the sun on daytime and you also have the moon at night so maybe you are in a twin flame connection by Pile four, remember, just like the legend of the sun and the moon. Maybe right now you're currently in separation or you're currently trying to find each other. But the legend of the sun and the moon, <laughs> there will be one day, okay, that special day, that special time that you will always meet, just like the eclipse, <laughs> okay? The sun and the moon is going to be like the eclipse or you could be connecting with someone who's opposite than you. But anyway it's like night and day this could also mean like like the seasons embrace the seasons in life maybe that's that's how you're going through as well but the moon is also like you're trying to search for answers right now but you know if the sun comes in your reading you will you will find the answers anyway but the moon also means if you're connecting with someone who has secrets who has to be honest to you you will find the answers regardless okay you will find the truth and you will also be blessed with the spiritual gift or the gift of intuition so pile four you could be clairaudient clairvoyant clairsentient so you have to really trust your intuition and follow what you feel hear see okay so you i know you're also very sensitive okay you went through a very difficult time in your life but you know you gotta believe in angels you gotta believe that god is watching you possibly from the day you were born your spiritual journey is not all, always going to be darkness. Look, you already have the light your way. So let go of what you don't need anymore. Okay, release and trust that universe is going to guide you. Mother universe and God up above. Okay, going to lead you where you need to be. Going to illuminate and, and guide your path. 
so you can find your destination yeah transformation see spirit guide says let go of fear sometimes this is the best way to go you cannot be overthinking over analyzing you know stop stop holding on too tight on some things that is not meant for you anymore life and even spiritual journey and even like every day okay even time we cannot hold on time and if it's meant if the universe is trying to say you're meant to evolve, you're meant to be a change maker, you're meant to change the world, you're meant to be happy, and so it is. And you let go of what you don't need anymore. And that's how this energy means embrace the changes. So maybe you are someone who's seen 555 because 555, I also saw that at the beginning of my journey. Sometimes I don't like it because it's a painful change, but a change that is very relevant and very essential because, you know, it's going to lead you towards the right decision, the right path. Okay, so Spirit Guys is also trying to tell you, Pile 4, do not resist the change. This is your important message right now. Stop resisting the changes that is happening your way. You needed this change so you can step forward in your life. Stop resisting the changes and you need to keep releasing and let go and declutter okay and cleanse your space cleanse your heart cleanse your spirit cleanse everything okay you have to be renewed and be pure in heart mind and spirit and look do not be wallowing on the past and getting stuck there okay because maybe you are also someone who um lost something from the past or you are trying to like always like reminiscing something in the past like what if and what not what the, whichever the deal is okay spirit guys says move forward and maybe this is also you maybe you're connecting with someone you already have past life connection with and if this is a twin flame connection or you're calling your future spouse you already spent past lives together you possibly been married in the past lives you already have family and children or whatever but in this lifetime it's another lifetime that you need to find each other so what now what is this spirit the empress see i tell you you know something you know something Okay, heart, mind, body, and spirit. I mean, that's how the Empress energy is. The universe spirit and the divine spirit is working through you. You are a power manifester. Even if you do not know right now, you will be guided towards your destination, towards your dream. Empress has the ability to turn pain into power. Empress has the ability to like be a warrior, okay? And news that... that all is going to be well because she's a warrior and no one is going to get in her way because remember empress i love that oh my god you are beautiful you are strong you're vulnerable but you're also fiery and feisty and anyway spirit guys trying to say empress is also abundance marriage stability you're calling your future spouse okay so this is your journey right now do not resist the change okay that's coming your way the universe is trying to to call you to evolve because right now you are currently looking for your blessing your future spouse your right job okay so anyway what is the best job for you Pal. You could work with a lot of people. You could be an energy healer. You could be a doctor. You could be a leader. You could be in the spotlight. Okay? And then you're going to use your intuition. You're going to use your life experience. You are going to be a great influencer. Okay? I mean, you're going to be a change maker. That's how I can see right now. Remember, I already told you, Pile, pile 4 that you're meant you're meant for wonderful things okay for for big happy surprises to come your way so anyway all this all this darkness that you went through struggles is just a stepping stone okay so let's understand more let peace prevail you need to have peace in your soul okay you need to ask god to heal your soul to heal your karma to heal all these blocks and challenges your way so you're going to find 
your true love you're going to find your truth love conquers all look you have the death energy here love conquers death love conquers darkness bam you're going to um tell the bad juju to go away okay you're going to manifest the light and the love of god and the mercy of the father and the creator and the maker to guide you through in your journey defend what is dear to you wow Artemis, all for one, one for all. Oh my God, this is the three musketeers, the Artemis. Defend what is dear to you. Remember what I'm already trying to tell you. You know something in your heart, even if you may not know everything. You remember, you reincarnated in this earthly realm, not knowing anything. It's kind of like have a little bit of amnesia, but this, the, your fragment, the, your soul carry fragments in your past that's carrying wisdom and life lessons and life experience that's going to help you through in your journey. So you're not going to commit the same mistake again or these soul fragments these fragments in your soul carry that little wisdom and help that you needed. But you also have spirit guides and guardian angel anyway to, to guide you through. So maybe you also have to work with the angels and with the light and with universe and God up above to help you in your journey. Seek the guide with noble ideals. Well, there's there's the all for one, the three musketeers. You could possibly need to really have courage in your heart do not give up okay seek the guide with the noble ideals because this could also mean future spouse is coming this is king arthur someone the knight in shining armor even if you're feeling like yeah you have to help yourself right now you have to be your own hero but universe is also trying to tell you there is help there is support there is a hero coming towards you so remember that's a miracle you know you ha we have to be thankful and little miracles that that is coming your way so if you're a feminine you have to fight for your dreams okay you have to fight for your true love or your for your sanity because you're going to get help and support and yes you're not feeling mad right now or going crazy because you know something. You're very intuitive. I already know that. Okay? You know what? If someone's going to contradict you and going to make you feel confused, remember, Spirit Guide says, be careful who you trust. You know in your heart what you want to do in your life, and but you need to seek the guidance of the universe, the guidance of, you, of divine and guardian angels and Spirit Guide. So anyway, Mother Earth, heal. Okay? This could be Mother Nature. You work with nature, you work with animals, and you're going to do things that you love. But even if something doesn't go your way right now, you need to recharge your energy, okay? And it's, oh my gosh, you will be loved too. Maybe because you were feeling like out of place, insecure, but you're not going to seek validation from others, okay? Spirit Guide says, you are love. You believe you are love and, and you will attract love and blessings to come your way you cannot please everybody pile four what wise one see i tell you you're very intuitive mother universe energy is trying to tell you you have the wisdom you are being guided right now and trust okay oh my goodness <laughs> This is how I can tell you right now. The wise one, this is the crone, which is also mother universe energy, okay? Give, grow within your current situation because, see, I told you, you have that fragments in your soul right now that's going to help you and support you grow out of your current situation. If you were feeling stuck right now and don't know what to do, where do we go from here? No matter how much we're going to read and, and saying you're still confused. Remember, at the end of it all, you got to learn to help yourself. Okay? You cannot confuse yourself any longer. If some things you do not know, then just pray that whichever path you're going through right now is the best path for you. But if you know in your heart, in your intuition, okay, that universe is trying to give signs, symbols, synchronicities, that that's not the path for you. That's not one second i'm low back that's not the right relationship for you 
anyway, move forward, okay? The, remember, your first energy is release what you don't need anymore. Do not be afraid. If you walk the barren desert. Oh, that's a religious song, but it's like, be not afraid. I am before you always. Come, follow me. And I will give you rest. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? Well, that's Jesus Christ. He's the way to the Father. But you know, we're not bound by religion, but we only have one God. But if you're a Christian, maybe you have to pray to Jesus Christ. And even if you're not, well, just pray regardless to Jesus Christ, Mama Mary, Father up above, guardian angels. Oh my God, we only have one God. It doesn't matter what name in your religion, but we only have one higher power okay so spirit guy says you need to heal yourself you need to possibly go to a doctor or like heal your energy i do not know so child spirit guy is trying to tell you that you need to recharge your energy bring back that enthusiasm in your life because you know what you cannot be stuck any longer okay universe wants you to evolve universe wants you to I think universe is trying to give you a mission right now. That's the soul. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say, but I am seeing it. Okay, you have a mission, pile four, but you are also deserve to be happy. So why not? Let yourself sparkle and shine. Even your this one is also sparkle and shine, like the sun and the moon. Okay, you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. What did I tell you? You are being called to be bold. You are being called to be a change maker. You are being called. You are meant for wonderful things. You are meant for bigger things in life. So don't be mediocre. You are, you know, do not be afraid if others trying to tell you, yeah, you're out of this world, you're not normal. Forget that. You are meant to sparkle and shine. That's how your energy is. It's the moon and the sun and the stars. Pam! And you, if you are calling your future spouse, well, you're going to it to shine the way. So your future spouse also going to find you. So are we done yet, spirit guides? I hope I am. I already okay so I think this is it for now we're going to see your energy reunion someone from your past coming back in your life or a past life deep soul connection this could also be twin flame union this is also the same as the six of cups okay we already know this could be wedding two of cups eternal love eternal union you are experiencing strong spiritual spiritual connection with someone after all you're also very intuitive and remember maybe you're also trying to manifest twin flame union divine union your life partner right now so what is your key to manifest your blessings remember i already trying to channel to you okay universe trying to send you signs symbols synchronicities do not resist the change oh my god there's a lot that came for you and you are going to work on yourself or you're going to find the right job for you or you're going to travel and relocate okay and you will find your family is this a family okay so family this could also be stability commitment possibly children as well oh my gosh ten of pentacles ten of cups family could also be community but anyway i love this you already have the wedding and marriage energy and and career family as well so your family can be well provided or you can have someone to belong to someone to come home to you a new beginnings and fresh start that's all that matters where do you go from here universe trying to say there is a new door okay that will lead you to towards beautiful times but you cannot like be holding on to the past and holding on to baggage and drama you must embark on your adventure now you have to say i i captain you're ready for your adventure you're ready for the quest and that's how it begins so chime this is how the spiritual journey is okay you have to learn to embrace the path 
okay i think universe is trying to call you to embrace your sacred path right now and you might we might not know everything so child but they will be here as long as you try as long as you keep the faith and then what is impossible nothing really after all look at this you're already the empress they will guide you remember i already told you you will be guided to be bold and to be brave you will be guided because you are not to fulfill a mission okay to be a change maker and maybe you're also calling your emperor someone is beautiful handsome attractive charming someone who's going to support you all the way to to help you in your mission so stay there okay because like i said empress is also new new beginning new cycle fertility abundance prosperity wedding after all we already seeing it so child it's time for me to charge my phone i love you all and happy christopher columbus day i know it's today it's christopher columbus you know so anyway if you don't celebrate that it's a big holiday in u.s this morning or today but we're going to learn again next time and after all our table is in a halloween vibe stay well take care stay healthy and i'll see you soon so tribe i love you and i'll always pray for you and hopefully you'll, you also pray for kitty cat so i'll be here and i'll have the strength and the clarity and the intuition and the spiritual gift to send and give your message or spiritual insights and spiritual motivation and positive thoughts for the day i love you all and we are on the halloween month that's why our table is full of halloween <laughs> mau mau kitty mau mau kitty i love you guys thank you bye now